Welcome to the Virtual Counseling Database Instructional Session. In this session, we will go over how to use some of our counseling-specific databases and review how to reach a librarian remotely for assistance. To get to the library databases, you will first click on the Library ERC link on the top right of the riviere.edu homepage. From there, you will find the Research Databases tab on the far left of the screen, 4 down. Give that a click to get to our database list. From here, you'll want to scroll down until you get to the Education Databases, where you can find links to psych articles and books. What I like to do when I first begin a search is start broad and narrow down. To do this, let's click on the second database on the list, Academic Search Premier. Academic Search Premier is a great starting point because its contents are so broad. In fact, we can broaden our field even further by clicking on the blue Choose Databases link directly above the search box. Here you can check off Counseling Specific Databases, or you can select All and narrow down your search from a larger set of databases. This will provide you with many results, and if it is too many, you can always go back and deselect databases to get more specific to your topic. Now that we've selected all our databases, let's click OK. Now let's do a search for Autis with an asterisk and Teen with an asterisk. Look confusing? Let me explain what I'm doing. In the library databases, you are given two search tools to help you find information more quickly. One of these is called truncation, where you type in the base of the word and then put an asterisk at the end. The asterisk we have at the end of Autis will now search for every possible variation of that word, such as autism, autistic, and the like. By writing it in this way, we no longer need to type in those words separately to get the results we desire. It helps broaden the results we will get. The other tool is Boolean searching, or using the word AND between my two search terms to ensure both show up in the results. The alternatives would be the word OR and the word NOT. An example of an alternative use of this would be if we wanted articles about teenagers but not adolescents. In this case, OR will expand your results and NOT will narrow them down further, depending on your search needs. Let's go ahead and click Search Now. You'll see a results list in the center of the page. On the left, you have a series of limiters. By clicking Linked Full Text, you will limit the results list to items you can access immediately without using Interlibrary Loan. You can further limit your list by clicking on Scholarly or Peer-Reviewed Journals or narrowing the publication date. On the right side of the screen, you'll find a chat box where you can instant message a reference librarian for help during regular library hours. Let's click into an article. I want to point out the menu on the right, where you can click Cite and generate a citation for your paper. Please note that although this is a useful feature, not all articles are up to date with current citation standards, so it's important to double check with your guidebook. If you want to add items to a folder to compile for later, just make sure to create an EBSCO account first and log in. If you save many articles to a folder without being logged in, everything from that session will disappear when you click out of the browser. Don't let this happen to you. You can also perform a keyword search in our catalog using the same tools you used in the databases. Clicking into a book will show you where it can be located in the library. 
If you scroll down, the citation can be found at the bottom. To contact a librarian for assistance, click on the Library Home link from here and scroll until you find the Need Help button on the right. This guide shows all the way the library can be contacted and when. Please don't hesitate to reach out with any questions you may have as you progress through your studies.